generations because more than half the band is 20s. My son just turned 30. Me and Lenny and Busted, the oldsters. In a sense, it's like passing the torch, but it's also a celebration. And there's still young cats coming up that are the real deal. And these are some of them. I was 23 when I joined Ray Charles and 24 when I joined Art Blakey. They gave me a chance as a youngster. They must have heard something. So, you know, it's time, time to do the same. That's how you keep the music alive. That's how you keep it growing. <laughs> Being a part of this project, it, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm being a part of history. And, you know, just trying to do this to the best of my ability. And the, the tunes are amazing. The musicians are amazing. They make my job a lot easier. You know, my dad was part of the messengers, jazz messengers with Art Blakey, and I think a lot of that culture is bringing younger musicians into the band. So he's got a young band, but also he's bringing in uh, Buster Williams and Lenny White uh, and James Carter to, to diversify and let us grow from their experience and to bring everybody together. But, but Steve is, uh, you know, he's he's always paying back, you know, mm -hmm. as he moves things forward. Because, uh, you know, when he came, first came to New York, the same with me and Lenny. You know, the, the elders, you know, embraced us. So so we have to we have to pay it back. It's reciprocal. Yeah. Definitely. They respond to my experience and the way I play with authority. And and it all comes together and we find common ground. And I think it creates something fresh and new. <laughs> 